Hey, man. I appreciate all y'all. Y'all know what this is. It is Dean. I am your host, Dean, by any means. Come on, y'all. Come in here. We got to talk. Now, this, this is not a bashing video. This is just me being telling the truth. Now, Ryan Garcia has won his fight. And ever since Shakur Stevenson fight, he had a press conference, his post-press conference. They asked him about Shakur Stevenson. And he they were just clowning him. You got reporters clowning him. And I've never seen nothing like this for a fighter of Shakur Stevenson's caliber. I've never seen this before. You got reporters clowning him about how boring his fights was. So that's why I called this. Is Shakur Stevenson becoming Jigglypuff? If you grew up in the 90s, it was this show called Pokemon. Now, y'all might think I was trying to be funny, but it's a great analogy and a great comparison. If you grew up in the 90s, it was this show called Pokemon. And one of the least liked characters, like from a fan base standpoint, it wasn't no Charizard, no Bulbasaur. None of them. It wasn't the, the, the Pikachu's. This character wasn't a popular character. It was popular, very, very known, but not that much liked. And it's this character called Jigglypuff. A cute little thing, baby face, Pokemon. And it really didn't have no special moves or any of that. It was small. It didn't have no special moves, but it had one great defensive move that every Pokemon hates. Every single one of the Pokemon hated it. Once it starts singing, it put everybody to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> and there's nothing you could do. You could be in the middle of a match. Once Jigglypuff starts, starts singing, you could be winning the match. Once Jigglypuff go to start singing, it's all over. Everybody's put to sleep. And I say that to say because it's also a character. People was weren't never we never took Jigglypuff serious in the Pokemon um show. We never took Jigglypuff serious, but it's one of the most dangerous characters. Because they got something that can't be beat for real, for real. It was only a few Pokemon that could crack the cold, but you had to be a special Pokemon to even withstand Jigglypuff singing. Once Jigglypuff starts singing, it put everybody to sleep. Shakur Stevenson, I feel as though, might be becoming the same thing. A person that everybody's not taking serious. He's an afterthought. They sitting up there laughing and joking about him. They sitting up there making fun of his, making fun of his fights. But he wins. All he do is win, though. And when he start fighting, just like Jigglypuff, when they start singing, he going to win. But he putting everybody to sleep while doing it. And Shakur Stevenson, that is not what I want for you, my brother. I believe you're one of the best fighters I ever laid my eyes on. I believe you got a lot. I believe you got a lot more dog than you showed. But this is what you becoming, my dog. And it's not me. Don't don't kill the messenger. I'm telling you, every boxer, everybody that I have seen that has had an interview on you is either disappointed but still trying to like uplift you, or they just clowning you all the way. And that's what happens when you become a polarizing figure. You be running your mouth. You talk like you the baddest man on the planet, and to a certain extent, you is because you got a style of fighting that's hard to beat, just like Jigglypuff. You got a style of fighting that's damn near impossible to beat, but it's putting everybody to sleep. And I don't want that for you, my guy, because that's not how you sell tickets. Every day that go by, every fight card that happened, if this heavyweight fight card and it's a bunch of knockouts, this Devin Haney and Regis Prograve fight be very entertaining like this um, Ryan Garcia and Diorte fight was, it's going to get worse and worse and worse. It's going to get worse and worse and worse. So I didn't compare Shakur Stevenson to be funny. I compare Shakur Stevenson to Jigglypuff because that is a real comparison if you really dive in it, though. One of the most powerful characters because it got a move that's damn near impossible to stop. And once it happens, there's nothing you could do about it if you can't 
crack the code. It's just the point is that it's going to put everybody to sleep. It's not enjoyable to watch everybody sleep. I've never seen somebody win but lose so much. I've never seen somebody win but lose what Shakur Stevenson has lost. Shakur Stevenson lost. Shakur Stevenson has lost more than Ryan Garcia lost when he fought Ryan um, Tank Davis, and he actually took a loss, though. So, Shakur, man, you got to bounce back with your next fight, my guy. You got to put somebody down. You got to knock somebody out, or you got to just beat somebody all to hell. You got to, my guy, because it's not looking too good out here for you from a PR standpoint, a media standpoint, YouTube standpoint, even matchmaking standpoint from your promotional companies and people who got to put money behind you because they hear and seeing all this stuff too. And it does matter. That's why I'm making this video because it does matter. Because Bob Arum and all of them, when they see people saying they're not willing to pay for a fight, guess what? Then they're not willing to put the money up to make big fights happen for you because they're not sure that they're going to get their money back. And that's just the, you know, that's just the price of tea in China, man. That's just the price of tea in China. And that's something that you got to realize because this is prize fighting. And that always comes first. You got to entertain the people. This is entertainment. People don't buy it to not be entertained. It's the same reason why Jigglypuff was one of the least liked characters in Pokemon. It was one of the more boring characters. It could win damn near every fight. People, It was so crazy that in Pokemon, people avoided Jigglypuff. When Jigglypuff got mad, everybody started getting frantic. Like, oh, snap. Like, all right, you don't want Jigglypuff, man. They going to listen. You don't want to become that, Shakur Stevenson, where everybody, where you're so deadly at what you do, at running, at, at your defense, and you're not going to get hit, that nobody wants to go near you. So I didn't make this video to play you. I made it because it's a great analysis on what is happening in you right now at this moment. And that's my job as a content creator to come with a creative content creator. You hear that word creator. You can't never put that past anything, Shakur, the same way you can't put this is prize fighting. This is entertainment. As a content creator, it's my job to dive in deep to bring something different to the content that I'm talking about because I'm not the only one speaking on boxing to get people to click that button and listen to what I got to say and do it in a creative way. So that's not me trying to play you, my guy. That's me actually being honest and comparing you to something that was the same in the same exact situation and with the same exact skill set. You don't want to become that, my guy. And that's why I put the question mark. Is you becoming that? Because it's, that don't mean that you will be that. And I believe that you will put on and you will give us more entertaining fights. And this is only temporary. But Shakur, it has to be temporary, my guy. It has to be, bro. Listen here. I, listen here, Shakur. It has to be, little bro. Because you cannot afford to have another performance like you had, especially against a bigger name. It's going to, you think it's bad now. If it happens against a bigger name, it's going to be five times worse. Because not only will they make one or two videos about you now, they're going to make five about it. And it's going to be whole panels and everybody talking about just you and your performance. You won and everybody was talking about how disappointed they was. That's something you never want. That's something you never want, my guy. Issa Cruz got more respect than you got for losing then you got for winning when he fought Javante Davis. This is something that you never want, and this is a spot in boxing you never wanted to be at because this is a one-on-one -on -one sport. People are paying to see you. People got to want to see you. And no matter how good you are, if people are not interested in you and they do not want to see you, then Shakur Stevenson, this is battle rapper called Chilla Jones, got a great pen, can write the whole non, but one of his things that he suffered from is that he's so good with the pen that he's not entertaining and people didn't battle him because at the end of the day, people got to like what you're saying and be entertained by it. What you're saying technically could be hot, but if you're not delivering it the right way, your message is not getting across the right way neither. That matters too. This is entertainment. 
It's the reason why people aren't start, starting not to like football because they're saying the hits, you can't hit no more and all that. And the NFL has to deal with that. And they have to deal with the viewerships when they decide to do certain things because people got to want to see it. And y'all can't make people, you can't tell people what they have to be interested in, Shakur. They don't have to be interested in anything you tell them to be interested in. People are interested in what they're interested in. And what they're interested in is watching people throw their hands. It's called boxing. It is a hit and not get hit sport, but it's not just a not get hit sport, Shakur. It's hit and not get hit. You see how hit comes first? Hit, then not get hit. Not not get hit and not get hit. And that's why I asked this question. Is Shakur Stevenson becoming a jiggly puff of boxing? Where it's going to be damn near impossible to beat him. He got a move. He got a defense that is so cold and, and, and so generational that it's hard to get past it. But is it going to put everybody to sleep when you do it? And is every, everybody going to try to avoid you the way all the other Pokemons used to try to avoid Jigglypuff? Because they can't do nothing with it. They don't have no way to attack that. How do I stop that? How do I make somebody engage with me in a, in a fight? How do I do that? If I chase you around and just start swinging all crazy, now I'm going to get tired. I'm looking crazy in there. I'm going to lose the round just off that. Now I'm looking like the clown. So it's just something to think about, little bro. And this is me not trying to play you. This is me being honest. This is a real comparison. This is real. I thought about this. Like, dad, like you're becoming the butt of the joke in boxing. You're be, you are the butt. But of the joke in boxing. It was Tyson Fury a couple weeks ago, but you just snatched that away from him. Because at least they fight was somewhat entertaining. You didn't snatch that away from Tyson Fury. He was the laughing stock of boxing for a couple weeks. Not even a couple weeks because your fight happened and it took all that away. But now you are the laughing stock of it. And then Ryan Garcia having a performance he had didn't help it, make it no better. Sabril Matias having the performance he had right before your fight didn't help and make it no better. If Devin and, and Regis have a great performance and in this heavyweight card, a few people get knocked out. I'm just telling you, Shakur, the questions is going to keep rising. You cannot afford to have another fight like you just had, my dude. You cannot afford to do it. Or you will become the jigglypuff of boxing. It's just something to think about, little bro. And that's from somebody who is a fan of you, somebody that supports you and want to see you do very well in this sport. You still, I still think you're special. I still think you're a generational talent. You know, that defense and that jab and that footwork and that IQ is something people got to deal with. And the reason why I still call you special, because you might not be special like the other fighters and your punching power and all this. But you special in the fact that, my God, you got a defense that's cold and you got a fighting style that's hard as hell to beat. No matter if I did. But the problem is I just don't want to see it, my guy. And that's hard for me to say because I'm a fan of you, but I don't want to see that, bro. And I don't want that for you. So, man, switch up your team, man. Get it together. Start making big moves, man. Get yourself back in the gym and... You know, if your hand was hurt and all this, that, and the third, man, go get the proper care. But do what you got to do, Shakur, or this is going to be the result. Y'all already know what this is. Dean, by any means, hit that cash app, holla at me. I really, really appreciate that, y'all. You know what I'm saying? For showing support to your boy, everybody that likes, share, and subscribe. So keep rocking with me, and I'm going to keep bringing heat. Y'all already know.